Well, I got the phone call today that my grandmother passed away. When I told the kids about grandmother's passing, they were just so precious. Isaac particularly was really sad. She passed away too soon. Me too. Hey, big girl, how you feeling this morning? I went to really bad. You're hurting really bad? Well, she had a rough night. She did throw up several times through the night, but she is acting much better, and it's been several hours since the last time she threw up. We brush in. All right, so this morning I am getting to have a minute to just be with Caleb. He's reading to me and we're snuggling and I love these little Mac. moments. Mac had a bag. Hmm. I feel like, the, I mean, I didn't see anything, but I kind of sensed that something moved. Me too. Huh. So Elise and I are just sitting here reading together, but I feel like I'm like sensing something in the room, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh no! I'm Ninja Caleb. You're Ninja Caleb! Whoa. Whoa. Look at those ninja moves. What did you build? I want to make a church. We making a church? Mommy, come in. Yeah. Be so quiet. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. Who? Isaac. Is it Isaac? Mm-hmm. Well, that's cute. Wow. Hide up? No, this is a hide up. Mm -hmm. Like it? Mm-hmm. This is a hide up. <laughs> Well, I got the phone call today that my grandmother passed away, and we knew that this was something that was coming, but it is sad. We had bought plane tickets for next week to be in Arizona, hoping to be able to see her before she passed away, and now we will be flying out for her funeral. Before I talk to the kids about grandmother's passing, we watched some of the vlogs that we had with her in it. So grandmother is feeling better. She's out of the hospital, and she's here at our house. And the kids were going to come in and sing to her. Like a diamond in the sky. That was wonderful. Uh, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Big bow. That was awesome. Now give big hugs for Grandma there. Everybody big hugs for Grandma there. When I told the kids about Grandmother's passing, they were just so precious. Isaac particularly was really sad. Isaac's first question was whether grandmother was alone when she passed away. And I was able to tell him that my mom was with her. Yeah, do you know who was there with her? Granny Jo. Yeah, Granny Jo was there and Natalie was there. And they were taking care of her. Do you know what she said? She said she wanted to die in her home with her family. And so my mom was there. I'm so grateful though, I had the chance to call and talk to grandmother before she really started like feeling worse and worse and she said she loved you guys and she's so proud of you. Elise was so cute, she talked about how we'll be able to see grandmother in heaven. They had questions about funerals and they had questions about death. It was just really tender to get to talk to them about it. It's a funeral. What's a funeral? So what's gonna happen is while we're there in Arizona, they're gonna take her body and actually bury it at a cemetery. Well, we're going to get to go to the funeral? Mm -hmm. We're going to be there. She loves you and she's so proud of you. I wish we could call her again. You wish we could call her again? Oh, we can't. It's going to be sad. It's normal to be sad when we lose people. I thought she would die a lot longer times, but she died today.
today. Yeah, we were hoping that we would be able to go and see her when we were there in Arizona. But we didn't. She passed away too soon. I'm sorry. Me too. Well, we're going to do a shorter vlog today so we can be together as family, but if you have a parent or a grandparent that you haven't talked to for a while, give them a call and let them know you love them. Oh, that was worth going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Jail's out.